Hello class. Today we will be studying consumer equilibrium in case of two commodities in cardinal analysis. I told you that you can find consumer equilibrium in two analysis. Number one is your cardinal analysis. Number two is your ordinal analysis. We did consumer equilibrium in case of one commodity in our previous class. In this class, we will be doing consumer equilibrium in case of two uh, commodities in cardinal analysis. See, in the uh, when we did uh, one quantity uh, commodity, what was the consumer equilibrium in case of one commodity where a consumer gets its maximum satisfaction? Is your uh, equilibrium? right so the equilibrium was at px mux divided by mum or you can say mum is equal to mux divided by px this was the point of equilibrium we get in your one commodity analysis this is the same in the two second commodity analysis when we this is in the case of x let's see in the case of y Price of Y is equal to marginal utility of Y divided by marginal utility of M or marginal utility of M is equal to marginal utility of X divided by sorry Y Y divided by price of Y This is the first equation we have got This is the second equation we have got what we can do is taking the common factor out this and this we can write m u x by p x is equal to m u m by p y sorry m u y by p y is equal to m u m marginal utility of x divided by price of x is equal to marginal utility of y divided by price of y is equal to marginal utility of money so this is the point of consumer equilibrium in the case of two commodities let's understand with the help of example see this is the table we have made units of a commodities are given your price is given your marginal utility of x and y is given and it is written in the question that sam has rupees 88 with him and the price of x and y is rupees 8 the price of x and y is same in the market so what should we do see number one we should calculate the marginal utility of m in the case of x good how do we calculate the marginal utility of m in the case of x good that is marginal utility of x divided by price of x so in the first part what we have is marginal utility of x is 88, price of x is 8, you get 11. In this way we can calculate 11, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. This is the mar uh, MUM of x we've got. In order to calculate the MUM of y, we calculate MUY divided by PY see MUM is 40 divided by 8 you get 5 so this way we will calculate the marginal utility of money for commodity Y 4.5 then 3 2.5 2 1.5 1 0 and nothing because 0 by I something is your 0 and 0 right so now where is our equilibrium point the equilibrium pro point is where marginal utility of money is equal to mux by px is equal to muy by py right so can you find out the first point the first point where see 
this and this are equal m u m of x is equal to m u m of y right we can uh, find out the next one the next is 2 and 2 right 1 and 1 and the other we have got is 3 and 3 right so these are the equals uh, we've got here 5 5 3 3 2 2 1 and 1 so these are the various points we've got uh, point a where it says ki a uh, consumer should buy one unit of y and six units of x so let's see if he buys one unit he has to pay eight rupees if he buys six units he has to pay 48 rupees this comes out to be 56 rupees but he has 88 with him so 56 is less than 88 so shall we go opt for this option no because he has more options to go further. So let's take the other point which is let's say uh, take the point B wherein you have to buy 3 units of Y and 8 units of X. This gives you 88. Right? So 88 is equal to 88. So this is the point of equilibrium. Where your whole of the income, the amount you have is utilized and you get the maximum satisfaction. These are the points where you get the maximum satisfaction, right? This connected with this. 2 and 2 are equal 1 and 1. These are the different points. But how to calculate the exact point? Exact point will come when 88 will be utilized fully. Right? So this is how you calculate the consumer equilibrium in the case of two commodities. Let's see the graphically. Let's see this graph. We are plotting commodity X and commodity Y on the same graph. From here to here, it goes to commodity X. And from 14 to 1, it comes back to commodity Y. So, uh, we have seen in the previous uh, lectures that the marginal utility graph is like this. When you increase the consumption. Right? When you increase the consumption, the marginal utility graph is like this. This marginal utility graph is for marginal utility of x. This is for marginal utility of y. And let's say you're at the rate of 30, your marginal let's see here, somewhere here. Your marginal utility of money is given. I told you marginal utility of money is constant. Let's take the units of y on the graph. Right? So this is the point of equilibrium we have got. This is the point where M U M which is this line is equal to marginal utility of X this which is this line is equal to marginal utility of Y which is this line and as your price is constant same for both of the commodities so this we can take right. So this is the point we have got after using this formula. So 8 units 
we can say 8 units by seeing this how many units of x 8 units of x and 6 units of y this do not relate this uh, gra graph to the answer we have got in the previous question just because the both are different right so we've got the same answer in your uh, previous uh, when we did numerically through the tables we found the same answer no just because this is a different from what we did numerically right that is the different example and this is the new one so do not relate both the graphs in the table together right this is the new i have done it just in order to explain you so in this we have six units of y and eight units of x so this is the point where you get your equilibrium i hope you like the video do download our app scholars learning and if you have already downloaded this enjoy the learning experience